U.S. Senate candidate John Featherman is still recovering from a stroke back in May. Oh, so TV viewers saw that chain? firsthand as he debated Mehmet Oz in Harrisburg. Oh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Seeing him struggle to speak has some voters so, worried that he may uh, not be fit for office if elected. I judge based on what I see, and what I see is a guy who is clearly not as articulate as he was before the stroke. Federman released a doctor's note last month that read, the lieutenant governor is recovering well from his stroke, and his health has continued to improve. He has no work restrictions and can work full duty in public office. State College Mayor Ezra Nance has worked with Federman since he ran for lieutenant governor, and he says quick action by Federman's wife when the stroke happened was critical. Thankfully, Giselle had the presence of mind to get him to care quickly, and that made a big difference. To Nance, Federman's feet to serve. Just because a person is recovering from a stroke and may have some auditory or speech challenges, it doesn't mean that their mind is not working. Before the debate, many voters didn't realize the difficulty Federman was having with speaking and processing thoughts. He used closed captioning during the event. Doing that debate wasn't exactly easy. But some voters believe he was still able to deliver his ideas well. His doctor cleared him, and he seems to be in much better shape than a lot of other people in the Senate. The debate intensified the focus on his stroke recovery. But Featherman says it's just another challenge he's trying to match. After that stroke, I got knocked down, but I got back up. I'm Renata Dow for the Center County Report.